Welcome aboard once again, Crushed Up Pants. Another quick video on the latest round of updates. You might find it more useful to view these updates inside of a video rather than reading a wall of text. So here we go. First thing we've added is a trigger warning, which applies for this video as well. We will be shown some content some audiences may find disturbing, such as nausea, flatulence, hyperventilation, flashing lights. So if you're sensitive to that, please move on to a different video as we will be showing sights and sounds you may find disturbing. We think this trigger warning will be useful inside of the game to ensure everybody understands what type of content they will stumble across. The first set of features we've added is inside of the options menu to disable audio and visual feedback for nausea and flatulence. This applies to both your local player as well as network players. So if you're sensitive to these sights and sounds, you can disable this. We will eventually be also adding uh, sights and sounds for hyperventilation. Instead, we will provide visual cues that these actions are occurring so you could still understand the gameplay integration and the side effects without having to experience those directly. And I'll discuss exactly what I mean by gameplay integration in just a moment. First, let's hop into the MMO world map so we could discuss these features inside of the U-Boat. Please note that while you can do this inside of the museum, which is available in the demo, I like to do it inside of the U-Boat so you understand the setting and the context of why these features were implemented. So here we are inside of the control room of the U-Boat, which I think is the perfect setting to show off these features and to discuss why we implemented them. So first you have to realize that the setting we are in is a metal cylinder under the water. That is a very inhospitable place for a human being to begin with. We're talking about a shared airspace, which is not recycled or refreshed in any way. So let's consider having dozens of people stuck in this cylinder and the repercussions of that. So first feature I'll be showing off again, trigger warning is flatulence. This is a natural side effect of being a human. This is a byproduct of the digestive system. And yes, people lived aboard the U-boat, they ate food and they expelled flatulence. So first feature I want to show is using my remote player, pressing the G key. All right, so first you might be chuckling a little bit and thinking that this is quite silly. Why did we implement this? Well, in prior videos, we showed off how we now have a fully networked simulation subsystem, which tracks the moles of carbon dioxide, oxygen, methane, and other gases inside of the different compartments. As you open the hatches, the gases mix, the pressure equalizes, and so on. Well, our player right now that expelled some bodily gases just introduced new moles of methane into the air. And as you have dozens of people doing this as a natural byproduct of being a human inside of the cylinder, the quality of the compartment, uh, that is the, you know, the different moles of different gases, potentially the odor, will change over time. And we want to ensure that audio visual feedback and other mechanisms are implemented so you can understand that being underwater for extended periods of times has a detrimental impact on the human body. This is a U-boat simulator, so beyond simulating just the incredibly complex machine, we want to ensure that we simulate life aboard the U-boat. The second feature, which we've had in for a long time, is the V-key. Again, trigger warning. So what we've seen here is seasickness. Seasickness can occur. Uh, you know, some folks can become sensitive to the rocking of the boat under extreme circumstances. You may have had a bad meal. And like I mentioned again, eating aboard the U-boat was a part of life. As a human, you had to eat. You may eat spoiled food. And then there are repercussions, whether that's excessive flatulence or even potential nausea like I just showed. Again, we are working towards full integration with the simulation subsystem. What happened now that we're not yet simulating is that the player expelled liquids inside of the compartment. These liquids need to be cleaned up by a player. 
If they don't, they affect the quality and odor of the compartment itself by introducing new gases. And we also have a liquid that has the potential to grow bacteria inside of the u compartment. This will have a downstream negative impact on other players inside of the compartment. Imagine you're in a control room and you have all this vomit all over the floor. That will eventually make other players sick and they will respond to that. And while this may not be your central focus, such as turning a valve or looking through the periscope to try and hunt down a ship, the reality is that you have to live in this compartment and you have to keep it hospitable. And if you don't tackle that, uh, then I think we failed in achieving our dream of simulating a U-boat to the full potential and full depth that we aim for. My last train of thought is that a U-boat, a metal cylinder under the waves, was very inhospitable, and we want to make sure the gameplay represents that and is a central focus that you take under consideration as you do anything inside of this metal CAD with others. Coordinating with others, assigning assignments about different tasks and jobs such as the medic or the cleaning crew will be just as crucial and instrumental to your long-term success as manning the trim station, for instance. Thank you again for joining us. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to my rationale of why we are implementing these things and how behind the scenes are actually implemented to the simulation subsystems, which will continuously be upgraded to provide you with additional audio, visual, and other types of feedback so you understand the quality of your surroundings that you're in so you can make the appropriate decisions long-term. Until next time.